So HyperX Quadcast is a fantastic microphone option for those that want to use a USB type of microphone and does give you a great quality right out of the box. The sound that you're hearing right now from this microphone is absolutely with no VST plugins and also without any equalizer. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a free software they call Sonar from SteelSeries that is gonna be able to make this microphone to sound like this, to actually sound like this with the equalization on in a background removal. So stick around and let's go with the video right after this. Hey, my name is Rodrigo and welcome to the channel. So before we jump into Sonar Steel Series software, one thing that is very important is where you set up this microphone is gonna make a lot of difference. The microphone comes with this part right here, which is attached to the microphone where you can put on the table, uh, but it's going to be depending how you position the microphone far away from your mouth. So uh, eventually, if you wanted to capture the sound, if it's the farthest from your mouth it is, the more gain you have to uh, increase on the microphone, which leads to a lot of background if you have a lot of background around you and also it leads to a lot of noise in your keyboard. Those microphones are very sensitive, so you need to make sure and watch for that. The other thing is I highly recommend it to use a boom arm like this to attach this microphone and be able to clo put close as possible to your mouth. This position right here that you see is kind of comfortable, it's not on the way. Uh, some people like to put this a little bit up. I think this position right here is really good because it doesn't stay in the front of you. Um, and then this is gonna help you to sound way better this microphone. Uh, definitely is not an XLR type of microphone that you need to have a very close to your mouth, but I think this amount of uh, position and close for about one hand is great enough. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump it into Sonar SteelSeries software. All right, so you're right here in Sonar from SteelSeries software. And for you to download, I'm gonna leave if you the link on the description below is at steelseries.com forward slash gg forward slash sonar it's going to be on the description below so once you download the software what are you going to do here you're going to go through uh this right here also the software is not only sonar by the way you have a moment which you can take clips from your stream here as well if you wanted to use that uh the engineering means that whatever you have from steel series could be your headphones or a mouse or or anything else a keyboard this is where you control all your lights and all your configuration right here and also uh, the last one here is sonar so sonar basically is a software very similar to wavelink very similar to voice meter however is not doesn't have a, that much channels as you can see right now you only have uh, the master channel you only have uh, the game channel the channel uh the chat channel and the microphone where i'm speaking right now so the game channel basically is gonna influence your uh, headphones so in that channel right here um that's a place right here in the, in the top mixer game uh chat and microphone uh, I'm not gonna go through game or chat. I have a video right here on the top that I explain how enhance your headphones as well with this uh, program. But are we gonna go to the microphone right here? And as you can see right here, in my configuration, I have also another microphone, uh, which I use also. That's it right here in the top, which is a Rode video, video mic. Uh, I use the same configuration because I think for my voice and the way it looks really great. Um, this one, I mean, testing with the quadcast is definitely a uh, configuration that you want maybe use it as well. Maybe you want to tweak a little bit, bit depending of your voice, of course. So over here, as you can see, you have a, a, the equalizer all the way here. That's basically all those channels for the regular equalizer for your microphone and I'm gonna turn on just the, the equalize so you can see and notice the difference so right now I am turning on the equalizer 
The equalizer is set up for my voice. You can also copy this equalizer if you want to it. Definitely it's gonna enhance your microphone regardless. And uh, you just do it if you want a more bass on your voice. If your voice already have already a kind of bass voice, you just enhance something else here. But it is a fantastic equalizer and really work well. The other thing that I wanna show you real quick here is this right here called ClearCast AI Noise Cancellation. This is a fantastic automatic cancellation also for your background. I've been testing the one in the bottom right here, they call noise reduction. Right now I have our noise reduction on, but if I'm gonna turn this off, this is how we sound with no noise reduction at all. Uh, there's microphone pick it up a lot of background noise. So when I turn back on this clear cast I noise cancellation, this is how it sounds. No noise in the background. It's a fantastic tool. This for me is one of the best background cancellation noise. Uh, I did test with NVIDIA, I did test in some other, but I think this is a fantastic job for this type of microphone. So this is the only thing you need to do to enhance this microphone. In no VST plugins, you just use that configuration as I'm showing you on the screen right now, and definitely you're gonna enhance your microphone. Now, if you want to use this microphone on the gaming PC, if you're using Duo PC, make sure that you have a sonar in your gaming PC and use this microphone from the gaming PC and then use your OBS on your gaming PC to send through NDI to your streaming PC. If you'd like to know how I can do this, just let me know in the comments below. I can do a video specifically for sending this sound from the gaming PC to the streaming PC using this microphone and also sonar. Another thing that is very important that I want to let you know as well is this, uh, the microphone have a dot as a volume on this microphone. Right now I am using on between two, the second and the third dot. So that's what I'm using for this video as right now. But I always suggest the last gain that you use in a microphone, the better sound will be, the less uh, noise uh, will pick it up. So I think that's already a great thing. So if you wanted to use that way, the other thing that I want to show you that you have like a, is how important it is to be close to your mouth. If you leave this a little bit far away, like uh, I'm not kind of simulate a little bit far away from me if it's in my desk, uh, you'll be able, you're gonna be able to hear more noise uh, around because you have to turn off the gain. So you will pick it up more things, include your voice. So I always say the important thing is to always leave this microphone as close as you can for your mouth, someplace that doesn't, uh, you know, take the view from your screen and everything should be working perfectly fine. So uh, let me know in this video if this video really helped you a lot. Uh, don't forget to like it and I really appreciate for sticking around all the way to the end and I see you on the next video.